Let's okay, see. Zofa, we're ready to go here. Oh. And uh, I'm just going to start from the beginning. Um, when did you come to this country up here, this territory? <laughs> I can't remember the date. Where, when did your fo did your folks come here before you? No, hmm? no, we came here when my son Lloyd was a year old. We landed in Beefield. We came from Ponca, Nebraska. And what brought you up here? John Nygaard from over to Corny, our herbster, he used to live out on the point. He came down to Nebraska, and he got all the people interested in coming up here and buying land. And he owned land, so he was selling it? He or? was selling, no, he didn't He was like a real estate agent? Yeah, or? right. Yeah. And so he came with stories of... What a nice place that was, sure. And you were ready to move, you and your husband were ready to move on? Right, and his brother, Lawrence. Now, were you originally from Nebraska, or did you... No, when I... Where you were you mean, born when and I Virginia, Clintwood, Virginia. Oh, from the East Coast. And uh, who were your parents? My parents? Yeah. Was uh, Charlie Newberry. And Newberry. And Newberry. Yeah. And your mother? She, she was a Stanley. And what was her first name? Emmeline. Emmeline. Yeah. So uh, how old were you when you left home then and went off to Nebraska? I was about 17. Were you married at that time? Or? No. No. When? what took you to Nebraska? Oh, to Nebraska. To Nebraska. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was married then. You, so you got married in Virginia? No, we got no. married in Sioux City, Iowa. Sioux City, Iowa, on the way? Yeah, on the way out. And what was your husband's name? Everett Goldman. And uh, so you settled in Nebraska. We farmed in Nebraska, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, John Nygaard came down there and said there's good country up here. Right. And, and what year was that when you moved up here then? I can't remember that year. About. I can't remember what it was. Well, if you oh, said your son was a year old. Yeah, he was born 1920, wasn't it? Right? 1920, so he would be... Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. And he was a year old. Lloyd was. And what was it like? What was this land like? Did you buy it sight unseen or you came up here and... They saw it, but then it was all timber. Heavy timber. All heavy All this cleared land was all timber? All heavy timber. We cleared every foot of it. With uh, horses and... Horses and... Mostly a horses, and we finally got a tractor late years. And uh, you pull, you know, blow the stumps, you'd bust them. Mm -hmm. the, and then he'd pull each, you know, quarter or whatever, but out with the horses till he got the tractor. It's a lot of work. Too bad. But we loved every minute of it. <laughs> were you out there helping clear? Sure. Sure. We were out there. At, at 10 o'clock in the night, burning from one brush pile to another. You know, we'd throw it in so it would burn mm -hmm. till we get it burned up. Now, what time of year did you move up here? In uh, January. In the winter time? Yeah. And and what was, was there any buildings on this place? No. You just bought the the land? All oh, heavy timber. Where did you live in January then? We lived for the first two or three weeks in the house right above the those gas tanks in Bayfield there, you know, where the down mm -hmm. below. We lived in the ha first house above it for a fair while, and then we moved out to a Turnquist. Where's that? That was where, um, oh, what's it? Leafblad used to live. You know, turn uh, by Bayfield. Mm -hmm. We lived there for a while, and then from there we moved to the old logging camps up on um, I don't know, it's Furlots or what? I think it was Furlots. Yeah, we lived there in the we lived in the office. Is that north of Bayfield? Where's is, Where's is the? Yeah, it's north. Mm -hmm. I think north of Bayfield. 
it's on the way out here. Mm -hmm. yeah. And bef before you got settled here, uh, did you and your husband have to do other other work? Oh yeah, he could, he what worked at everything he could do. You know, he just what I did don't he do? know different kind of work. He worked for Turnquist. As a logger? Oh no. 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 He worked on out on that farm there. Mm -hmm. Took care of the you know for a while and then he uh of course we built the house as soon as we could. Then we, when we moved into that camp. Mm -hmm. Then they cut him and my uh father and my brother in law came out here and stayed with Lawrence his brother up on the hill here where Faye lived, and then they built this house. So that building started when, in the summer then, the spring and the summer of that first no, year? No, we moved in here in um, April, about, oh, second week in April, I guess. Was that that same year that you came up here, or was this oh, no. years, several no, years later? No, it was a couple of couple of years. About nineteen twenty two or three? I don't remember that part. Remember how old your son was when you moved in here? Well yeah. He was about two and a half. Mm hmm And then my second son, I had the second son, Harold. He was born we moved in here when he was a week old, about a week old. All right. And he's how old is Harold now? <laughs> I'm 64. He was born in 1922. He's born 1922, wherever that would be. Mm -hmm. So he's. So he's 67. He must be. He's three years older than you. Wouldn't that be 67? So what was the name of the first son? I've forgotten. Her Lloyd. Lloyd. So then Lloyd and then Harold. Harold. And then did Evelyn come next? Evelyn was next. And then Audrey. And where is Audrey now? She's in Oklahoma, Page, Oklahoma. And uh, Evelyn, you're in the cities. Cottage Grove. Cottage Grove. Harold, where is he? St. Louis. New and Mexico. Lloyd, is he still alive? No, Lloyd got drowned, you know, in Bayfield. He did? Yeah, he was drowned. About. When was that? Was Two or three years two, ago. Three, yeah. Well, it must be three years anyway, or more. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, he drowned. And how did that happen? Nobody knows. He was on a snowmobile and was supposed to be coming in. Out on the lake. Out on the lake. And we don't know what happened. Hmm. He went down in the channel. Yeah, between Long Lake and Madeline there, someplace. Hmm. Yeah. So many people we've talked to have had drownings in their family. Mm -hmm. Because when you're live near a lake like this, it's a yeah. it's a real hazard. Yeah, it's bad. So getting back to the twenties, so you were here and and uh, what in this house? What was built first? Was it a one room place to start with? Or? Yeah, it was all one room. This room here that we're in now. Well, the whole thing, the whole house, was just one room. There were no partitions in it. Was it as the outside of the house as, the, as right. what it originally was? Yeah. And you said it was built from logs. Right. To start with. It's so all on logs. this ground floor. There. All logs. It's still a log. Right. They're in the wall. And are those those square hand hewn? No, round. Round ones. Mm -hmm. They that. Uh, your husband and cut right around here. <laughs> hauled in here and built it. Mm -hmm. They were green when we moved in here. They chinked them, you know, with um, split wood, you know, and mm -hmm. stopped the cracks. And then they put plaster on it, plastered it all in. Was it a one-story place then to start with? Or? To start with, it was, uh, you know, a roof. How they mill them, I don't know. They're kind of square on the top. <laughs> mm -hmm. I can't explain it, but anyhow, that's the way it was at first. And then when they 
went to uh, put the upper part on, they took that whole roof off and then went on up with it, hoping it didn't rain, which it didn't. <laughs> <laughs> and when was that? When was the second story? Ahead? Oh, see, I, that I can't remember. I guess it was when you kids were quite old, wasn't it? You must remember that part. You don't I remember. Oh, were you I don't remember when, no. Were you a teenager, Evelyn, or older? Or? Younger. Younger. Right? I think so, yeah. Cause In the 30s? Early 30s, maybe? Could be. I, mm -hmm. I That I can't say. Right off. Can't remember. Huh. Well, this is a far cry from Nebraska. It must have been a big change for you to move up here. And sure was. <laughs> it was... In Nebraska, it was all farmland, and mm -hmm. um, cause we ra raised feed. You know, we fed cattle and raised hogs there. So once you got the land cleared, uh, you started farming it. You sure. Had, you had cattle here, dairy cattle. Sure. Sure. How many cattle? Not very many to start with, but we increased them as we could. You know. The more land you cleared. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's and as the kids got school age, where'd they go to school? They went to school right between here and uh, Don McCutcheon's, right for that well house is up there. There used to be a schoolhouse there. To the Down east in the here? field. There was a one room schoolhouse or country right. school? Right. And then into Bayfield. Then they went to Bayfield, yes, sure. Their later years they went to Bayfield. Up until what grade did you go out here? To the eighth, mm -hmm. eighth grade. Did they walk to school or did you have to take them? They walked here, but they was bused to Bayfield. Right. Mm -hmm. And who were the neighbors around here that you that was spent Lawrence, time with? Lawrence Goldman. Well, it was... And the settlement, of course, you got that from Lawrence Butterfield. Mm -hmm. So the Gordons over there. Yeah. Were they there then? Gordons, no. No, that was after. Gordons just been there for a year or two. Art Pratt. Uh -huh. Art Pratt. Ar yeah, Arlie Pratt. And uh, Lawrence Goldman. And. Um, Anna Horton. Yeah, Hortons. And um, Adney's. Adney's and McCutcheon's. McCutcheon's, yeah. That's between here and 13, you mm -hmm. know. And did you, what, what did you have to do here on the farm? What, what? <laughs> Housework and helped out with the barn work too. And the farm work. You get out and did the chores? And I helped, yeah. Mm -hmm. Till the kids got big enough and they helped. And then you put them to work? Yeah, right. <laughs> but I used to mow hay, help put up hay all the time. Mm -hmm. Did you grow, you had just cattle or did you have other animals out here? We had some, a few horses, but uh, then we had chickens, mm -hmm. of course. And I used to raise turkeys too. You did? Oh yes. How many did you have? One year I had, uh, well, I had 300, wasn't it? A lot of them. Yeah. 300? I think I had 300 ready for the market. And we'd planted a um, patch of buckwheat out here, between here and the mailbox. Mm -hmm. It was a big patch of buckwheat. And we, when it got ripe, we, of course, we heard it just took the turkeys. They follow you and go right in there. And they used to eat that buckwheat and talk, you know. <laughs> People come from all town out here to see them. Is that right? Yeah, watch them eat. Hmm. And at that time, for those turkeys, I got 59 cents a pound and from Ironwood. Did you sell them live? No, we had to dress them. You dressed them yourself? Dressed them, and they came out from Ironwood and bought them. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Oh we dressed them, packed them in barrels, and they come and got them. 
But I hatched all those turkeys, too, myself in incubator. You did? Right. So did you have some other buildings? I didn't really look when we drove up. Oh, we had a lot of buildings, but there are no buildings anymore. They're all torn down. So you had a, a separate had building for the turkeys? Turkeys, and the yeah, all and everything. out that way in the field. So. Well, really, on a farm, particularly then, you had to do as much as you could. Oh, sure. Didn't you? Right. And did you grow other crops? Oh, we uh, used to raise alfalfa seed and clover seed and, mm -hmm. and uh, potatoes and, you know, strawberries. Oh, you had strawberries out here? Oh, yeah, we had strawberries. Had to get pickers from even up in Duluth to pick. Mm -hmm. The last time, last year we had them, we, they just had, they rotted in the field because you couldn't get pickers to pick them. And when did you quit doing strawberries? That year, but I don't remember what year it was. That's been a long time ago. Many years ago. Not many, many yeah. years ago. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what did you all do for fun out here? Oh, we used to have basket socials and Now what's a know, basket social? Where everybody made a basket and took it to a, you know, to a dance. And the people bought it, they rifled them off or whatever you call it. What kind of basket? Made out of what? Food. Oh, food you, basket. I food see. baskets and then you whoever bought your basket, you had to eat with them. See? Is that right? Right. <laughs> and one they'd always try to you know, get somebody would try to get your basket so your husband couldn't get it. You know, that was the fun of it. <laughs> and then there was a dance then too? Oh, definitely. Square dance or regular? Square dance and the other dances too. And was there a place around here where you had square dances? In the schoolhouse. In the schoolhouse, mm -hmm. I see. And who was the caller? Dave Sigler. He used to live over towards 13 here. Mm -hmm. Over by that log... Uh, house over here by. I don't know who lives in it now, but somebody's in there now. Was there a fiddler too? Or oh, yeah. Everett's brought, Everett played the fiddle. A lot. And Lawrence played the guitar. Oh, he did? And my sister played, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, Mike Blondie played. So they had quite a, quite a lot of music there. We had fun. Yeah. Well, how many couples could you get in a square dance in that schoolhouse? We had eight a lot of times. Did you? Yeah, it was big enough so you could have a couple, you know, two, uh, I don't know what you call it, two sets, I guess that's what you would call it. Mm -hmm. Square dance, four in each set, and you know, make eight couples. Now, when you first got here, there must have been a lot of wildlife around here, too. Sure. What did you see around here? What came around? Deer. Lots of deer, lots of grouse, partridge, rabbits. There were everything then. Bear? They were bear? They were bear, yeah. My, my husband got a bear. Did he? Three. Yeah, out of one right over across the road here. He was... A den, it dinned up under a windfall, you know. Mm -hmm. And he shot the mother and the two little ones come out, so he got them too. Mm. I don't know whether he was supposed to have got all three, but he did. Mm. Well, I think when we were at the Butterfields on the way back to town, I saw a bear, a black bear. You did? Yes. Oh. Last summer. Oh, they la oh, I saw one Not up today. here, across, one across my field, and down in the, across the lower pasture there, last summer. Did you? And it had, I heard later, that it had three little cubs. Hmm. Yeah. But they don't bother you here? No, I've never been bothered. There was two little cubs out here in this little, in this ap crab apple tree one year. Eating crabs, you know, one of the, it, my mother used to have a trailer house out here. 
and one was behind the trailer house, and then when that one would reach over and get those apples, and one would fall and hit the ground, that one back of the trailer would come running out and get that apple, and back it would go again. <laughs> and that one, he stayed right up in the tree, me looking right out the door at Now, tell me a little bit about your, your husband, Lawrence. Everett. Everett, I'm sorry. Uh, did he work here on the farm all his life? Yes, till he retired. And when did he retire? He retired when he was 62, I believe. Or maybe he was 65. I don't remember now whether he waited till 65 or 62. And then we used to go in... Um, in the fall, about November, we'd go to Florida. Oh, you would? And stay till May. We'd come back in May. We went down there. Would anybody be in the house then, or would just No, close it up? Lloyd, my son, would take care of the house while he was gone and took care of the dog and, mm -hmm. and the cattle. Mm -hmm. till That's right. You had animals. They had to be. At first we did, but we finally sold them, mm -hmm. so we didn't have cattle. But... We went to Florida and we f fished every day, walked the beach, mm. had fun. We go every year. Mm -hmm. Stayed right uh, on the, you know, um, well, they had a big breakwater wall by the ocean. And we stayed about the third, I think it was the third motel in. We was in the center. And I could fish off of that wall out in the ocean and catch fish, mm -hmm. waiting. Did you fish up here? I loved to summer? fish. Did you? Oh, yeah. Where did you go? What were your favorite spots to go fishing? Well, I caught my biggest fish in, um, in Roman Slough, over by Cornucopia. What kind? Northern Pike. I have a picture of it in there. You do? Mm -hmm. Well, I'll have to see that. Yeah, it's, it was. It would have already spawned. It would have weighed more than what it, you know, do, did mm -hmm. when they weighed it. But and I was on TV with it. You were up in the loop. Yeah. Well, how big was it? Ooh, I can't remember. It's <laughs> how big now, but it tells on the picture. Is the picture? Can we get the picture in here? So it's on. Evelyn. Yeah. Get the picture of my fish. My picture, fish, picture of my fish. Oh. Yeah, we got to get a look at this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's probably dusty. Well, did you and Everett go together fishing? Did he oh, like yeah. to fish too? Oh, he loved to fish, yeah. Did we you go both. out in the lake as well? or was Oh, it? yeah, when we got a chance, we always... Oh, there it is. Ready. Yeah. Well, hold that up so we can get a good shot of that. Boy, that is a fish. Sure, it's my a fish. My God, that... What do you, do you remember what it weighed? It tells. <laughs> I don't know. What's it say? Does it say in the back? No. There's a paper in there that tells. How How big was the fish, Evelyn? How, I don't remember. It's on the paper back there. It, uh, God, it's almost as long as you are tall. I couldn't hardly hold it up, yeah. There was. I don't see a paper. There's one there someplace. Did you, uh, so you were just, you kept, caught it on a... I caught it on a smelt. On a smelt? Mm-hmm. Oh. I cast the smelt out in the, in the slough, you know, that come in from the lake. And it got on there. You got the one of his. Yours is uh, 20 pound, 14 ounces. Yeah. How much? 20 pound, 20 pound, 14 ounce. All right. I've never caught a fish that big. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I couldn't uh, land it. There's a 17 pounder with Dan. Yeah, but my husband caught that. Hmm. Oh, and that got in the paper. Oh they yeah, both did. they both did, huh? Yeah. Look at that. Hmm. Yeah. So that's how you guys relax. Go out and. After he retired, 
How yeah. are you going to save? Because when you run a farm, there isn't much time to no, free time. No, he couldn't time, fish then. After he, he couldn't wait till he retired, and then so we went to Florida and fish every year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he caught ling and great big ones. Yeah, and white um, redfish. Oh, he caught pompanos and. Um, Let's see the. I can't remember now. <laughs> wow. What all? But we got those fish with one eye on one side. Flounders, that's what they were. White fish. Every kind of fish you could think of in there. Right from shore. We never went out in boats. You didn't go out in the boat. Huh? We did, but we never had no luck, you know. <laughs> so we'd rather fish from shore. We'd walk the shore and fish. Mm -hmm. right. We got in a slew of a shark one day and they'd break our tackle all the time. Yeah. Could, never could land them because we, they were too big. Hmm. Yeah. So, so that's what we did, to spend our days on the beach. Hmm. Of course I babysat Did you, did you folks go into Bayfield often? Oh, yes. We went to Bayfield most of the time to do our was shopping. Was the Star Route? Right. Was that here when you first moved here? Oh, yes. What was it? Was it an old logging road or what was it? It was a logging road when we first came here. It wasn't in this good a shape, though. Oh, no. <laughs> and it used to come right here by these trees. Oh, it did? We thought we were building right on the road. But when we had our land surveyed over, we were that, that far off. See, we, it was that, made us that far off the road. Is that right? Otherwise, you mean from where the trees are, right here. Where Happy up. Hollow goes. Yeah, the road now. Right. Yeah. But the road that when we built here was right by these trees. Oh, we thought we was right on the road. Oh. Yeah. You know, Mom, something might be interesting that they might like to know is how we used to go to town with horses and the oh. heated wagon. Yes, tell me about that. Right. We used to have a covered, you know, and they made a covered uh, sled. Mm -hmm. Put a covered uh, little house, you might say, on a, mm -hmm. on a sled. And they had a little uh, heater in there. So we were nice and cozy going to town. With a team of horses? With the team of horses. How long would it take to get to town? All day we was gone, <laughs> all day, there and back, you know. Because that's ten miles or more. Was that the closest place to get groceries? and? No, for, didn't Corny you? would have been nine, but that's nine miles. But Bayfield, we usually went to Bayfield. How many miles to Bayfield? Ten, isn't it? Don't that say ten on the sign? I don't know. I think, so. yeah, ten miles. So half a day in, and then do your shopping, and then right. get home. We didn't go day. any often. We had to, you know. But how often would you go? About once a week, I guess we had to go. And we used to have, when we had dances, they all come, you know. Other the neighbors had those covered wagons too that they came to the dances with, <laughs> in a covered wagon. So. So you didn't miss being in town? No, I don't like it in town. You don't? No. How come? I'd rather be on the farm in the wide open spaces. Get a little claustrophobic in town? Too many people? <laughs> well, <laughs> not that, but I just, I'd rather be in the, in the country. Mm. Where I can get outside without a, everybody looking at me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you never got lonely out here, huh? No. I stayed by myself. We, we liked it out here. Of course, and my husband, he, the last trip we went to Florida, coming back, we got as far as Valparaiso, Indiana, where my daughter Audrey used to live. 
and then he had a heart attack and uh, he was in the hospital there then for uh, from May till January I think we got home in January wasn't it? He, he was home for Christmas. Oh yeah that's right we got home for Christmas but he passed away in January that was it yeah. And how long ago was that? About 20 I don't know 20 it's better than 20 how years. Was this car out in the garage? 63 yeah he bought this car, my car, in 63. He passed away in, 60, in 63. January in 63, yeah, that's right. So that's a good 25 years ago. Yeah. And in the last 25 years, you've lived here by I yourself? I lived right here by myself. Mm -hmm. Your kids were all gone by then? Oh, yes. You had grandma for about 10 years. Yeah, I took care of my mother. Oh, you did? Yeah, I had my mother here. For now, when did she move here? She moved here shortly after we did. They moved here and then... Uh, but she came to live with you right after Dad Yeah, out. she came to live with me. She had a trailer house here by the trees, on this side of the trees, mm -hmm. till she couldn't take care of herself anymore. She was, you know, she'd have nightmares or whatever you call them and fall out of bed and mm -hmm. imagine she heard things at home. So then I made her come in with me, and I took care of her till she, she passed away. Mm. She's been gone how many years? Do you don't remember? I can't remember. <laughs> been quite a while though. But by the time your husband died, the f you had quit farming. Oh yes, yeah. yes we didn't. So you didn't have to take care of the place. No, he put the he put the land in soil bank. So he didn't have to farm it anymore. I see. He put it in for 10 years, I think, in soil bank. And but it, somebody takes care of these fields here now, right? Well, Clarence Pratt mowed the hay on it for me this year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that gets mowed once in a while. And I get seed sometimes, but last year it didn't seed that trefoil. It didn't seed at all. Hmm. Nobody got hardly any seed last year. Why is that? It just didn't seed for some reason. I don't know why. Year before that, I had a good crop of seed. Hmm. Now, did you go up to Corny very often? Yeah, once in a while we used to. Well, when we first came here, um, we went to Corny a lot because Mr. Ellers. He would, he, um, of course, we were, didn't have much money them days, you know. So we would buy our groceries all summer long and then pay it off, mm -hmm. you know, when we, with potatoes or when we'd have strawberries, of course, we'd have money. Mm -hmm. We'd pay it off in the fall. But he... He had the store there? Yes. What was his first name? Ellers. Here, um... No, Harold Elders is his son. Uh, I can't. I can't think of his name. Elders is the last name. Last name, right? Yeah, he. The store is still in Corny. Mm -hmm. Elders store. His son runs it now. But he. Alton was the son. Alton was the son, and Harold was the son. I can't. I can't remember his. His name. So, but that, he was really good, Mr. Ellers, because he would, you know, let us get stuff on time. Mm -hmm. So, but we always paid it up in the fall. But I don't know how we did it, because we sure didn't make much money them <laughs> days. It wasn't much cleared land, you know. So each year went and you'd clear a little more and clear a little Cleared more. Cleared all the time, yeah. Each yeah. year, yeah. So we had the biggest share of this 80. And then I have the 80 across the road there, too. I have 160 acres. Mm -hmm. Most of it cleared? 
No, there's part of that cleared. Uh, I don't know how many acres it is. It's two fields, anyhow, down across the road. Mm -hmm. And then this 80 here. Now, before you cleared everything, would you just run the cows into the woods, or would you, yeah, could you we, do that? Run, yeah, we run them in the woods down across the road, mm -hmm. in the pasture. Because Bruce was saying he found some barbed wire up by his house in the woods. Yeah, it must have right. been left from. Yeah, but we had ours all fenced in that lower. 80 was fenced in, mm -hmm. and then we, of course, Harold owned the farm across the hill here, and we used to run it over there. He was in service at that time. Harold, your son? Yeah. Oh, so he got another piece of land here? Harold had the, the one joins ours on the back here on the 80. Uh -huh. At that time, it was Harold's, and of course, we run our cattle over there for pasture, and then they'd come in through the, up a lane, you know, mm -hmm. through the field. Then you had barns and a barn here? and Yeah, we had the barn. We had a machine shed out there. It's all fallen in, but then my turkeys, of course, I had, they, we had buildings for them and sheds. They had to be under a shed. A turkey is the dumbest thing you ever, <laughs> <laughs> wanted to see. They stand if it was raining, a little one, you know, stick their head up in the air and stand and drown. Oh, what? It's so dumb. Yeah, they would drown if you didn't get them in. They would? Yeah. <laughs> They're so dumb. <laughs> so, what do you have to do? Just herd them in, get them out of the yeah. rain? <laughs> oh, yeah. I have to watch them. <laughs> of course, we had a little. Um, excitement once in a while when they were Thanksgiving time too because we had some prowlers in the back <laughs> would come in and get over the fence oh yeah take some turkeys too steal the Thanksgiving turkey yeah so then what dad would sleep out there with the shotgun yeah he, used he to, would yeah he'd sleep out in the sh in the machine or in that shed out there with Shotgun, that's what they told him to do, because he wouldn't shoot anybody, but he shot up in shoot the in air. The he shot over their heads, and the, his shot would fall and hit on the leaves, you know. Mm -hmm. And they thought, sure, he was shooting at them. <laughs> <laughs> They'd take off. Oh, did they take off? <laughs> we found out who it was later. You know who it was. <laughs> they got their turkey, but... Did they come back after that? No, never <laughs> come back the second time after he shot like that at him. <laughs> he had fine shot in it, you know, and he shot up in the air. And of course, when it fell down, they'd hit the on the leaves of the trees, and they could hear that. And they thought he was shooting at him. But did you have any have, have any problem with wolves here? Weren't there wolves out in these? Lots woods? of wolves come here. Huh. They come. Seems like if you had turkeys, the wolves would. Well, they never bothered no turkeys. They didn't. No, never. Them days they didn't, didn't like turkey. They had lots of deer them days. Mm -hmm. Now there's no deer to speak of, you know. But them days we had lots of rabbits. You had a pet wolf. I had a pet wolf. Yeah. You did. Oh yeah. Well, tell me that story. Oh, How did you get it? every day, he, um, eighth day of May, we got about a foot of snow. So he uh, went out and tracked a wolf to her den. Well, he mm -hmm. got the, p the little ones, but he never saw the mother one. So I, uh, I want him to let me have a pet one, you know. Mm -hmm. That was in Nebraska, though. I had that wolf. Yeah, we got he got him here too, but he killed him for bounty, you know. Mm -hmm. But I had a pet wolf in uh, Nebraska. And did you and raise this wolf up? I or? raised that wolf from a a little puppy. He was um, just a little thing like that. When Everett's uh, father in Indiana was sick, so we went back there and was gone a week, and uh, the hired man had to take care of this wolf, and so I put it in the granary there, mm -hmm. and it would stay in the granary, and he put the feed in the, 
in the front by the door, you know, when he never saw the little puppy mm -hmm. all the while I was gone. I called him Muggins. And when I come home a week later, I went to the door and I called Muggins. And there he come over the top of the green is a wagging his tail, you know, <laughs> and licked me in the face. <laughs> just, and, uh, of course, in the summertime, I kept him in a pen out in the yard. Mm -hmm. Every time a chicken would get close to it, why, he lost his head, you know, if he got it inside the wire, he'd get chickens. But... Finally, one day, I, my sister and I, we went to see my mother. They lived quite a little ways from us there. And when I came home, I, my my wolf was skin hanging on the back of an old chair, because it was catching the.